Fun of Prima today, and we're going to take this long walk all the way up to Lasigna. Got some amazing uh, places and restaurants along here. If you've never done this walk before, I definitely recommend it. We're going to be talking about the Spanish news because we've got a lot of crazy things going on in the news this week. Absolutely bonkers. And also, we're going to show you this place, which is really popular along this route, where a lot of people actually love it. So we're going to show you this popular place on the route. So we're going to just start off here at Punta Marina. This is a little complex just here by Punta Marina roundabout on the M332. You've got a lot of mixture shops here. You've got the chemist, you've got the card shop if you need a card or stamps. You've also got the consume, the millars, and at the top you've got the captain's table. We've actually got videos of this place. But yeah, quite a lot of things going on here, pizza restaurants. But we're just going to cross over from this little complex here, Punta Marina, and we're going to start our journey from just across the road where all the loo bars are not long been up. And also, we've had a little update here as well. We've got another little bar opening up along the strip. So we're just going to cross over there and have a look. the other side. As you can see, you've got plenty of oil there. One of the cheapest petrol stations in Spain at the moment. If you need uh, cheap petrol or diesel, these plenty of oils are popping up everywhere. A lot, a lot cheaper. Self-service, but you do get sometimes uh, an attendant there to help you, but you can pay on your card on the machine. All simple, really, all done in English. If you've never been along this strip before, you've got a good mixture of, mixture of restaurants along here. But yeah, we've got a lot going on in the news this week. You've got the farmers protests we go on every day. And they're causing havoc with the roads up the AP7 or in Murphy at the day. Oh, look, here we are. This is the restaurant I was telling you about. There is one in Torrevieja opposite the Arbor, and it's quite popular. And that's opening soon, it says. So, looks like it could be opening in the next week or so. So, yeah, that's right next to the bridge house. Looks like they've got some new furniture. Really nice inside the bridge house as well. They do a good uh, mixed platter. If you ever want to come and have a little mixed platter, for two people it's pretty cheap around 11 euros you get some nice chicky wings and nuggets you get a spicy chicken onion rings yeah good little mixture for around 11 euros set you off for the day and then you've got the corner here the selena the pizza restaurant supposed to be good and then the asian kitchen they've done this up a little bit here as well they've put this on the outside this glass conservatory because this time of year in February can get a little wind as today's a little bit windy as well I was saying about the farmers yeah they're all protesting and uh, all over Europe at the moment Germany Poland Switzerland they're all they're all kicking off and the Spanish are doing their bit and it's all about the imports and uh, about this drought that's going on and uh, the cost of everything and they want the government to pull their finger out their arse and help them out because it's getting a bit out of hand i mean the drought is pretty bad at the moment in spain because we've hardly had any rain they've actually got boats going into andalusia and carrying water to uh, sort this drought problem out We've got things happening at the airports coming up next month. We're expected all the uh, prices to go up around about 4%. The tickets and everything because the government says inflation, they've had to put everything up to these, these airports. So yeah, all your flights are expected to go up. And obviously they're passing the cost onto the passenger. So we're going to be paying around 10 euros extra for a ticket. But on the plus side, I'm Mr O'Leary who is uh, right Again, now he's uh, sorted out another load of routes that's gonna boom Spain economy and bring more tourists yeah old Mr O'Leary he actually met in January with old Sanchez and they're supposed to be a five billion pound investment and during this meeting it was all to do with increasing the passenger volume to Spain booming it at 55 million to 77 million with all this new routes he's, he's coming up with. He's got about 730 new routes coming out of Spain and into Spain that's going to be actually boosting Spain's economy and tourists and obviously creating a lot of lot of jobs. So that's that's on a good thing because I don't know if you're aware last year the old economy in Spain boosted by two and a half percent which they wasn't expecting that at all because we had one of the most highest 
in income of uh, tourists. Yeah, we're just going past there. You, I don't know if you see that Chinese there, Dynestia. Well, I've got some videos coming up soon of all these restaurants. I'll be showing you all the top restaurants of these uh, places to go in Spain. So we're just in the middle of building it. So I'll keep keep subscribing, and you'll see them when they pop up. Three, two. I've already. Got you can see just from Punta Prima, you've got all bars and restaurants on the other side, which I've done many videos of that. So yeah, we're just going to take a stroll. That's the new KFC. Well, it's been here almost a year now. You got an easy gas, which was one of the cheapest at one time. They actually fill it up for you here now. Price pretty reasonable, but yeah, it's crazy. You have got the plain oil one, that's dirt cheap, and then you got this one, which is second cheapest, and you got one just further up there, which is I don't know, well off the scale with prices. I mean, we're looking at 138 for a bit of diesel, or 147 for your gasolina. You're gonna see. You got the garage here in a uh, Chinese just along here. A little bit breezy today, overcast, sun in and out. We've had 27s the last few days, around about 20 today. It's just the sun in the clouds. We've got some good news if uh, for the under 35s, the Spanish government is uh, guaranteed the mortgage for them. Apparently, uh, it's going to affect about 50,000 young people for the under 35s. That'll help them on the ladder with their mortgage, it's going to guarantee it. Just here on the corner, it used to be the Sabadell, actually still got a sign up there, Sabadell. Not sure what it's going to be. But you've got this massive furniture shop all the way around here. Massive. And right in the corner here is a little pastelera, you know, want a bit of pasty and French stick, cup of coffee. Yeah, quite a popular place actually, and that's right next to a German bar. I've not been in the German bar yet keep meaning to go into this German bar and uh, I've heard some good reports about it another thing the Spanish government are warning people about the new scam that's going around like you do in England and most countries a new text scam you're getting texts saying that um, you've got a motoring fine of 35 euros you need to sort it out otherwise you're going to get penalised which obviously is a big scam, so they're warning people that if they receive any of these text messages from the department, government department of parking and whatever fines, ignore it because it's a scam. Any text message you receive, it's a scam of. Got the El Capitan over there, I think that's changed name now. Still got the El Capitan on that side. I know they do uh, a lot of keep fitting now, exercises and all sorts. So just along here on the right, you've got another massive furniture shop as well. Well, half of it looks closed anyway, unless they're refurbing it. But like all kitchen, custom made furniture. But is this gonna be another company taking half of it over? But yeah, Style House. Also, the EU is giving a green light to this uh, disability green cards. So when you come to Spain, you can apply for one of these disability green cards. Last for 60 days, apparently. You get the card and it gives you the right to park where you want and special access to entertainment places, just like you do normally in England, really. But it's like a European green card and it only lasts for 60 days. We've also got the uh, Spanish airport for one of the worst airports in Europe for lost luggage and that's in Madrid it's got such a bad reputation for luggage going missing and getting lost so you won't want to travel to Madrid or end up losing your luggage just on this corner here you got the Carrefour and that's open most days as well sometimes open on a Sunday when the other supermarkets are closed and just straight up there on a the bend there on the right you've got a, a little complex there indoor complex got a Scandinavian supermarket in there and you've got like a dentist and also you can get your TV multi-channel international IPTV sorted out in there as well that's just out there on the bend so we're just going to carry on walking also there's some good news as well the Spanish have approved the Spanish minister approved the use of cannabis 
which is can be used for people that suffer from epilepsy or multiple sclerosis so that's just been approved just there is uh just all been knocked down i'm not sure what's going on here but they've got something going on they've just started to work on this little bit of area here, and that's right next door to this place i was telling you about which is really popular big go-kart track and i actually love it actually and uh, well, we're gonna have a quick look and show you what it's gonna cost to go in this place but you get quite a lot of people come down here they love it they're dotting up all over the place now you've got one up by la marina there just on the m332 and you've got another big one which is over by casada so yeah they're getting popular these go-car racing tracks well we're gonna have a look there we go open from 11 o'clock we've got a little restaurant on the side as well you can take away your paella there you've got your podium now first second and third oh you can get your quad bikes here as well if you want to hire a quad bike and you've got a little shop in here for souvenirs So yeah, you're looking at 16 euros for a child and 22 euros for an adult. Unless you want an upgrade to a Super Honda 400cc, which is going to be around 29 euros. And uh, you, you've got a child less than 10 years, you can have a 9 euros. Double cart, 17 euros, so you can share a, a cart. Also, foot bikes here, two and a half hours, 55 euros. These go kart prices is only eight minutes you get eight minutes to go around on one of the go-karts but yeah it's uh, quite a good little track actually Hola. right now and the time it takes you to lap round so just to the right you've got the wasteland we are saying they're all past Playa Flamenca imagine on a nice sunny day without less wind we've got today pretty good so yeah get down here and get on the go cars so imagine it's great fun a group of people come down here having a race so yeah we're going to move right along here we've got a euro market just there it's like a big chinese they've got outdoor you get a snacks wagon now and garden furniture your normal chinese called a euro market right big big place just on the corner here well and just past this we'll be right up up by the rockies plant flamenco around about where you got the burger king and the littles there was 14 people injured in barcelona oh, north of spain that old uh, port aventura theme park on the roller coaster the tree had come down with the high winds and caused some serious injury to 14 people roller coaster was called the Tomahawk and there uh, yeah 14 people injured serious gale force winds got a bit of wind here today but lucky enough it's not too strong we've had uh, the Brits buying up a massive surge of property in France by 500% following the relaxation of post Brexit residency rules we've seen a so massive surge of people buying up all these properties because of this relaxation so the French actually allowed the Brits to bypass the 90 day rule and now they can stay now for the 180 day rule and uh, will, will Spain consider doing the same for these people with uh, second homes the, the French Parliament relaxed this rule and uh, now all these people with second homes they're having a lovely time. They don't even have to apply for a visa. No visa needed. As long as you've got a second home, you can now stay more than 90 days, up to 180 days. But this only for France, of course, not for Spain. Spain is still trying to do this for the Brits. But at the moment, not a lot of joy. And as you know about Spain, everything takes forever. So nothing looks set to happen very soon with the old Spanish because it's a lot of process even though Spain's 
got the largest bricks with the second homes. Could be a manana job. So we're now reached the roundabout by Flamenco. This is the roundabout where you have the Burger King. And then up there on the right hand side, you've actually got the big complex by Flamenco commercial centre as well with lots of bars and restaurants. And you can see there another plan old there, even cheaper than the one down the road. 145.9 for gasoline and 95. Rock, this is a lovely place. You can go at the top, a nice couple of cocktails. They do food, always busy in here as well. Places really, you get your breakfast in here, your burgers. Yeah, very popular. And you've got upstairs, so yeah, done up pretty nice inside as well. go upstairs yeah, up there you've got a beautiful view nice view of the beach there look a bit, all that building project going on over there they've been given permission now to build this big complex all homes going up right across here it's the last bit of the coast we're allowed a bit of permission to build And just over there to the right, you've got more restaurants and bars, and you've got a gym at the top as well. I've done videos of that place. If you want to check the channel out, you can see all what's going on now. on this corner you've got the Sabadell Bank as you can see I don't know if you know about the banks in Spain if it's the bank you opened and it was at Playa Flamenca you've got to pay in and do all your business in Playa Flamenca they don't like you paying money in another branch even though it's all the same company Sabadell they have a big moan up oh you can't pay in here you've got to go to your own branch Sabadell for you right next door you got the Gerali insurance and the solicitors the Mafia restaurant just at the top there and it's also got one at Cabaroy Strip, a big La Mafia restaurant. Really nice, actually. So yeah, you've got the beauty saloon just there, the supermarket, Supercore, right at the top there. You've got the mini golf, which is nice for the kids. Bit of a crazy golf going on. I still got actually a little one for tiny nippers and they've got one for an older generation, the mini golf right at the top. And also got a gym up there as well. And then you've got the Sunrise, Rest Sunrise Restaurant just to the left. It's next door you've got another massive restaurant here. That's only been here a couple of years. Moana. At the end there you've got the big dental surgery place. And just tucked around the corner you can get the entrance to the Playa Commercials Centre with all the other bars and restaurants, hundreds of bars and restaurants in there, Indians, Chinese, kebabs, everything, you name it, Playa it's Flamenca got a commercial here. centre. Just give you a little peeps from the side. As you can see straight in front here, you've got the Chinese, the Asian kebab restaurant, restaurant uh, not kebab takeaways down it, Kareem takeaway kebab. You've also got the sports bar, You've got the Lansdowne one, the Irish bar downstairs. You've got the vape shop as well if you're after any vapes. You've got the vapes down there and all the other restaurants on the middle and top floors. Steak restaurants, you name it, it's got it. Indians, pizzas. So that's the commercial centre. We're going to nip on. We're almost there, coming up now to Lazina. Got the milk honey at the side there. Supposed to be really good, the milk honey. We've heard a lot of good reports about the milk honey. And that's Shakira Indian restaurant. So that's the side of it. More building work going on over here as well. Everywhere you look now, they're just building. So the next 
next bit we're going to come to, you just got a little slip here that will take you down to where Plath Flamenca Town is and the police station and uh, the Merc Madonna. If you do come off this slip and just go straight up to the right, you'll end up at the Saturday Market as well. Plath Flamenca Saturday Market. Turn right here, straight across at the roundabout, straight to the end, you'll see the Saturday Market. And that'll be on tomorrow. Also on this slip, as you go under the bridge, over to the other side where you come to the Plough Flamenca Beach, you've got the restaurants there, and also the big post office, Carreras post office. So, so you do, yeah, if you get a card through your post box, you've got to collect a parcel, you can get very busy as well. You go down there, make sure you take a ticket from the machine, and then you collect your passport, and uh, any other ID you need to take with you. They like to see ID when you take your yellow card along with you to collect your parcel or whatever letter you're waiting to receive. Also at the top there you can see their Max Gym. So you can get the Max Gym there just round opposite the Merc Madonna. Just there's a side entrance to the police station. And you need to go round around about around and then come down the other side. That will take you to the police station and a town all next door to each other. It's just over there. You've got the office where you pay your your road tax. Over there, you can sort your road tax out. Get it done by direct payment. So this is the roundabout. If you were to go straight up to the very top, that'd be the roundabout where the market starts on a Saturday. There were little rumours about this big Merc Madonna here being knocked down. I don't know how true it is, but it's been going around. It's going to be demolished, and a lot of. Uh, high-rise flats are going to be built so yeah we'll wait to see the develop development on that one so yeah we're going to nip back on the m332 and show you these other restaurants at mazinia the amazing restaurants there especially browns absolutely amazing and there you've got other little bars irish bars there so we'll have a look at them that's just a little way up at lazinia Meanwhile, just there, you'll see that's the underpass if you need to get to the post office, Carreras or the beach. You've got a lot of restaurants around here as well, the Surfers Bar. You've got the insurance office if you want to sort out your car insurance or house insurance. Cunningham's, I think it's called. So you've got Taxi Costa, the big, big taxi office just there. Okay, so now we're back on the footpath on the M332. Along here you've got the No Grass Company. If you're looking for any grass beaded, artificial grass, No Grass is one of the cheapest in Spain. Wow, that was a busy little moment now. Nearly getting run over by bicycles. Not only is it a footpath, it's for bicycles as well. So we just got the tax office place here if you need to sort out taxes with a solicitor. It's a tax firm just there. And uh, up here you've got another insurance place uh, and also you've got a car showroom Costa cars just on the corner and also you've got the showroom for no grass right next door the Costa cars you've got the massive uh, real estate agents and uh, next to that you've got Horizon worldwide Horizon travel agency if you want to book yourself a cruise MSC cruises or whatever you want to book you can go in there and book your cruise that's just before we get to the grass showroom and there's the old pretty car and there you can see whatever color grass you want you want a little pitch and putt built outside your garden any color grass this is the place to come no grass and they've actually got one in La Siesta another big showroom just open so if you're up there in Torrebieca you can pop in there and see them you've got the barbecue shop right next door We'll take a look inside no grass and uh, we'll have a look at all this different kind of grass you can get and the different colours you can get. We're going to take a look. So we're inside the showroom and there you go. You've got all the different grade grass you can get all along here. And the prices. You've got 20 mil, 33 mil. You can have as thick as you like or if it's golf you can be as little as 12 mil. So this is the showroom no grass come down here and get yourself some grass fitted 
so that was the showroom and just outside here you've got a few other little things going on here you've got the driving school in spanish and english and also you can uh, rent your bikes out here as well big bike rental place e-bikes just here on this corner come along to e-bikes quite a big uh, variety of choice lasagna roundabout hope you like the video and if you want to see more of lasagna if you check out the video up there i'll do a part two we'll do a little area of lasagna restaurants and bars just here and up to the boulevard <laughs>